Not only we fight for each other, but we fight for the ones in our community as well. This is a new game coming up. It's a different game, it's a different environment. We need to go finish the job and, you know, finish what we started. Conkey over a defender, nice. The University of Georgia. When Chase Abisher hits John Fitzpatrick. University of Georgia. And Chris Smith picks off Bailey Fisher in the end zone. in Noonan after a tornado ripped through the city. You would have heard a roaring sound. The high school is just across the street and has extensive damage. There's not a roof, but only maybe one building around here. But he says the community is strong. They're already rallying together, and there's no doubt they'll get through this. It's kind of like one of the things we, we tell our guys, you know, every Friday night, everything's not going to go your way all the time, uh, but, it, but it's how you respond. We've got the Steelers at Browns tonight, and we're celebrating one of my favorite things, that is game shows. We will start with one you can watch right here on Fox 5, Beat Shazam, so let's play the song. Do you have it? Yes, it is Mason Rudolph, the Steelers quarterback. They've won three in a row. They're four and three with Rudolph as the starting quarterback this season in place of Ben Roethlisberger. Last week, just one touchdown, but 242 yards in that Steelers win over the Rams. All right, next, one of my favorites. Here is the answer. The only NFL stadium to never host a postseason game. The question, what is the first energy stadium? Yes, the Brown Stadium has never hosted any kind of postseason game since it opened in 1999. While the Falcons, 49ers, Lions, and Jets have never hosted a playoff game in their current stadiums, each of those venues has at least had a Super Bowl. Let's move on to the biggest puzzle the Browns are going to have to solve tonight if they're going to beat the Steelers. All right. RST, L and E not helping you out a whole lot, so let's buy a couple vowels. First an A. Okay, you get in there. How about an I? Can you solve the puzzle, Pat? No? The answer is Minka Fitzpatrick. He's only played in seven games since getting traded from the Dolphins, but he's already become the first Steelers defensive player to score a touchdown in back-to-back -back weeks since 1984. Also had the game-clinching interception last week against the Rams. All right, time to find out if the price is right for a couple of former LSU Tigers. The Browns pay Jarvis Landry $12.5 million in base salary this season. Odell Beckham Jr., $16,750,000. The Browns spend more on wide receivers than any other team in the league. But together, those two have just three receiving touchdowns this season. And part of that is because each week, the Browns feel like they're pressing their luck. Remember this one with quarterback Baker Mayfield. Sometimes they yell stop and they get the good Baker. Like last week against the Bills, two touchdowns, 238 yards. But other weeks for the Browns, well, it starts spinning up there and they hit stop and they get the dreaded whammy. Last month against the Seahawks, for example, three picks. The week before that, two picks and just 100 yards passing against the 49ers. We will see if they get lucky tonight. You can watch reruns of the old Press Your Luck, by the way, on our digital channel, 5.3. That is the buzzer channel. Ken? Can you see this guy? What comes to mind? High school, high five sports. <laughs> right off the bat, I love it. When you see this guy, what do you think of? <laughs> I remember <now. laughs> I actually was talking to Chris Hogan. He was like, yeah, I was watching the news and they had this, uh, this big giant gold five. I was like, yeah, high five sports. So a lot of good memories from high school. Chris, I heard you had a question about this. Ah, uh, yeah, I just saw you guys on TV. <laughs> I was like, that's our high school football coverage. I was like, we were pretty good in high school, so we saw them a lot. You knew this guy would come back. Yeah, for sure. What does it mean to you, still, even to this day? Oh, uh, man, Friday Night Lights, man, you can't beat them. Just, you know, growing up in Georgia, great, great high school football, great, great area, you know, you miss those nights. Hey, yeah, I remember trying to race home and catch it. Fox 5, uh, it means it's like a hometown, it's the hometown network. I mean, you have to have love for it, right? It's the hometown. 
We go over to like a teammate's house. We just chill and just watch the highlights. And then, oh my God, that's crazy! Tell me about the celebration after that. What was this about? Oh, that was the, <laughs> oh, that was the triple X. That's called out the triple X. A lot of guys say high school football is the most fun they have ever had. Uh -huh. Do you feel that way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like 100. percent I mean, back then we were just you and your teammates. Everything was uh, everything was so personal. Everything was so so pure. Like we were just we were just there. We were just having fun.